G'day, I'm Scott from New Zealand Fishing World. I'm here today with Grant Biddle from Catch Fishing and we're going to talk about microjigging. So Grant, why do I want to go microjigging? Microjigging is just so much fun. You, if you're a soft baiter, you can use soft baits or micro jigs, interchange them. It's just gives you the thrill of catching fish in shallow water. So if I was going to use soft baits, I'd be casting them out and working them back towards the boat while I'm drifting. Is that the, exactly the same way you fish a micro jig? Yeah, pretty much. It's a matter of just changing it up during the day, just a matter of trying something. Although I do find that the jigs, the micro jigs, you don't have to use them quite as violently or you put as much motion into them because the jigs have a lot of the motion built into them. So really it's a matter of just softly, softly allow the jig to waft around and it just perks up the interest of any snapper, kingfish that are around. So do you work it along the bottom? You can do, yes, if you can. If you work along the bottom, just got to watch the snags, of course. But uh, predators do seem to hit the micro jigs on the drop, a falling bait fish. So uh, allow the jigs to waft down, right down to the seafloor, and then just work them up. Work them up gently, not too violently, and you'll find you get a lot of hookups on the drop. It's surprising the amount of times where uh, put the, a micro jig in the rod holder or you're just waiting and looking around, oh there's no fish here and the jig is stationary on the sea floor and the fish actually has time to come along, see the jig and it's defenseless and hits it then. Awesome. So you've, you've got to be ready at all times when you're micro jigging. Could be on the drop, could be when it's stationary or just on a, a slow retreat, you just never know. Alright, is there a... Is there a best time of year? Because you can fish soft baits all through the year. You just slow them down over winter. Is that the same for micro jigs? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, anywhere that you're using soft baits, use the micro jigs and then swap them back just to see what the fish are going to go onto for the day. And all times of year, absolutely. Can you catch a like we've got tiny wee hooks? On. Can you catch a big fish on those tiny wee hooks? Yeah, then that comes into a little bit of technique, just slackening the drag, allowing fish to run because you want to be using the light leader and light line to allow the jigs to waft around so that the leader can't be seen. Also, I do find if you use the lighter leader, uh, that even though the fish can't see it, if you're dragging heavy leaders down through the water column with just little 25 grams or less micro jigs, it, 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 it restricts the movement of the jig. So if you're using lighter line, lighter leader, the jig moves around and uh, yeah, you hook up big fish, all right, big fish. You can set the hooks with the micro jigs. They've got decent, decent hooks on the things. Set the hook and just kick back and enjoy the time. It, it usually takes you a little bit longer to bring the uh, bigger fish in on micro jigs because you're on the lighter gear, but oh, it's just more fun. So what is, uh, what do you call light? Is that a 15 mm. pound fluorocarbon leader onto kind of 10 pound braid? Or is that light or? Yeah, it is, that's light, but you can still go lighter still. If you're not fishing in amongst oh, kelp forests and, and big rocky reefy areas, a lot of the good fishing is just when uh, you're, you're offshore a little bit and you're drifting out onto the sand. So there's not a lot that the fish are gonna bust off on. So it's a matter of going as light as you can but making sure that you can turn the fish's head. So 10 pound braid, eight pound braid, that should be plenty. 10 pound, 15 pound leader, plenty. All right, what's your favorite um, actual rig set up? A spinning rod, an overhead rod? Mm, good question. <laughs> I can't say I've got a favourite one. In the shallows, I really do like the spinning reels and the spinning rods because I can find they're easier to cast further. Uh, they allow you to have a, the spin reel open so it's no drag on the jig and I can work those back to the boat just a little bit easier with a spinning reel. Cool. Out further, in 30, 40 metres, I do prefer the overhead micro jigs because 
you're fishing more vertically, straight down the water column, and on the drop with your overhead reels, you can feel any take, so you can set the hook on the drop. Right. Yeah. I understand in Japan, it's really popular that they actually fish micro jigs from the shore. They call, mm -hmm. call it shore jigging, but they fish with micro jigs and cast them out into the surf and off the rocks and that sort of thing. Can you do that here? Absolutely, there's more and more guys around the country, surf casters, rock fishermen, getting into the micro jigs because the jig takes just that little bit longer to get down, it's not sinking fast. So there's a lot of time, a lot of hang time where snapper and kingfish can see the jig just coming down through the water, you don't have to be in deep water, and they'll nail it because they think it's a wounded bait fish. And you, you tend not to get so many bite offs with soft baits, uh, with the jigs opposed to soft baits. Soft baits you can get bitten off, they're highly effective, but it's worthwhile changing out to a micro jigs just to see what's going to attract that fish at the time and you never know it's up to the fish. 